you guys, my name is Heather and I am in, let's see, when you see this, I'll be 23 weeks pregnant with twins. And I've been waiting for a bump, a legit bump, so I can do a maternity try on haul. I have some clothes here from ASOS, Blanqui, Shein, Nordstrom, Target. Um, for reference, I am 5'7 and I generally wear a small um, in tops, maybe a medium depending on the stretch factor. And I wear a size four in pants so I will try to list all the sizing I can so you have an idea it's really hard to like figure out maternity sizing they're like just go with your normal sizing but you can size up if you feel like you need to I'm like well I feel like we need to so let's just do it oh wait not until you subscribe cool okay let's do it okay so this is actually the first dress that I bought first anything maternity that I bought from pink blush maternity because I wanted a dress to take progress pictures in I'll never wear it again but it's doing the job I'm taking my progress pics okay so my plan with maternity clothes buying I didn't want to buy a lot I bought like a good little haul here to do a video to see if I liked any of it and would want to wear maternity clothes but the plan was to just buy like a pair of jeans and some tops that are maternity that I could just make it work. So here's an example. I got these tank tops. I got a black and a white from Blanqui and they're maternity tanks. I wear this black one all the time and then I can just throw a normal jacket on over it. But I do want to talk about maternity jeans. I have bought two. The ones I'm wearing now are from Target. I loathe them. I hate them. They are the ones that have just like they're low and they have like little stretchy bands on the side that expand. I hate them. I mean, I'm used to wearing high waisted jeans before pregnancy. So this low cut thing is not comfy and they fall down. I am wearing my normal size of four. So let me show you the ones I actually love. Okay, these probably look the same to you. These are from Nordstrom. They're made well. They are the ones that go way up here. The belly band. Alec thinks these are just the best jeans ever. <laughs> Love these. I, I feel like comforted and it feels nice and tight in a good way. Love these jeans. Huge price difference. I got those Target ones for like 20 bucks. These were like $140 and I did not want to spend money on maternity clothes, but I have no regrets. I feel good about myself these jeans and I love them. I want to run through a couple tops I got. This is from ASOS. It is a oh my gosh I look <laughs> not cute. It is like cut so you can grow into it. I'd rather it wasn't cut. I just don't love the way this fits. It's cute. It says mama. It looked really cute online but like this just ain't it. Okay this is from Topshop. I'm wearing a size small in it. I honestly need to add like an S Les bebés. This is cute. I mean, it's literally a black t-shirt. It says it's maternity, but I feel like this fits like a normal black t-shirt would. I don't know like how long we can stretch with this as we get bigger here. It's cute. It's nothing special. It's not very comfy, honestly, but it's cute. Okay, next up is this ASOS maternity sweater that I do not like. It is such a weird cut. I for sure have my bump, but maybe it's just not enough of a bump. This is a US 4 or a size small. I just, this is so unflattering. I've definitely been liking more fitted things so far this pregnancy. I just feel like you're more flattering and I honestly feel more comfortable and confident in something that's like more fitted. Okay, I'm gonna have to get creative here. Here's a skirt from Shein. Um, it's really cute. It's like a midi length. See? <laughs> It's a really cute skirt. I mean, it's definitely fitted. Not sure exactly where I'm planning to wear this, but it was super cheap. With like an oversized sweater, this could be cute. Yeah, okay, this is just like a little pink cashmere sweater, but this is a very cute look. Again, not planning on going out all that much, but you never know, so it's cute. Okay, next I have these pants from ASOS. They're in a size six. They're just like super stretchy pants, but it, they're so cute. Let me show you the detailing. Can you see here? The little slit is, these are so cute. Um, and they have like a cute little like seam down the front. I feel like these are great to have actually instead of jeans or leggings. They are a little tight. These definitely aren't gonna make it through the very end of 
pregnancy, but really loving these pants. Okay, now this is what I call a maternity dress. This is not my typical style dress. I mean, this is definitely cozy. I don't think I'd wear this anywhere but the house. Um, <laughs> this one's funny, not me. I was very hopeful about this dress. It is something, it is very va-va-boom. Love the thought, have nowhere to wear this, and uh, it's gonna be a no. Okay, here's another ASOS dress, size six. This is one I bought thinking I could wear like for my birthday or something. Um, and then I tried it on and was like, yeah, no, I'm not wearing this around my grandpa. Pretty dress, a little much for moi and what my maternity plans are. Pretty color, pretty dress, not practical. Okay, I bought this dress randomly. It's definitely not like anything I own. I just thought I would try something different. It is from a company called Wednesday Girl Maternity, but it is from ASOS. It smells like a glue stick. Um, like these fumes cannot be good for me right now. It is like frilly. Fabric is a little weird and scratchy. This just isn't me. I was thinking I could do something here, but. Okay, apparently I thought I was gonna be like a woman about town this pregnancy. Um, this dress is very cute. It is too short for me at least. And where am I going? What am I doing? This is from ASOS. This is a six for length and she is still short. So like if it was fall in New York with like tights and boots and a coat, I could make this work, but it's cute but I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, so we have this dress, which I would never usually wear like a polka dot dress like this, that's collar, like it's not really my style, but I think it looks pretty cute. It's so soft too. I ordered a size six in this for length and I'm glad I did. I don't know, I think I'll keep it. And I feel like I can wear this not maternity as well, which we love. Okay, and the last dress we have is from Blanqui. It is the same um, company and like fabric as the tank tops I ordered. This is like very um, spandexy, really like legging material with cute ruching on the side. It's just like a tank top dress. I just thought this is like a good staple if I just wanna throw on a jacket, a long sweater, whatever, wear a dress. I'll be able to wear this probably through the end. And honestly, even probably after pregnancy, I can make this work too, so. And I am wearing a, I'm wearing a small medium. I have a pair of leggings as well from Blanqui and I got them on Black Friday and the only size they had was a large, so I just bought it because I figured they're stretchy leggings. And when I first got them, they were a little bit big, but now that my bump is growing, I feel like they don't feel that big. De there's definitely a lot of fabric up here, but um, I love those leggings. It's either those or my Lululemon Align leggings. Okay, and this is the last item. This is a bodysuit from Shein. Look at this thing. It is all one piece. It is a size... I really should do this before. I don't know, there's no size on this. Probably, I probably ordered like a medium. We are loving the bodysuit. All right, you guys, well, that is the end of this video. I will link everything that I possibly can down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We found a few winners, found some losers. Please like this video, subscribe if you're not. You don't wanna miss a single video. You never quite know what's gonna happen. All right, see you on the next one, bye.